What is up, everybody? Frank, PSA Football, here with a classic Tops pack opening. We got 1990, 91, 92, we have all three series, 1, 2, and high. 93, we have Series 1 Wax, Series 1 Jumbo, and Series 2 Wax. 94, we have both Series Foil, first year they started doing foil packs. And then 95, we have both series hobby packs. So, um, as you can see on the background, we got 1990, Thurman Thomas, 91, Dramani Dawson, 92, Marcus Allen, 93, Michael Irvin, 94, I don't have any base 94, I only have two special effects cards, so I had to put one parallel up, and then 95, Dion. So, um, <clears throat> I do have a whole bunch of these at this point. I've been slowly over the last couple years acquiring boxes of each. Um, at this point, I am ready to do this series, and this should be kind of an ongoing thing where it's something I can do, um, something I plan on doing about once a week. So, um, I also have a limited number of this set right here um, that I will, uh, I am willing to sell. So I do have a reasonable price in mind. Um, hit me up, private message me or whatever. And I'm willing to get rid of a couple of them. Um, I obviously want to keep as many episodes going as, as, as long as possible. It's fun. It's nostalgic. So, um, and I want to, I want to draw it out as, as much as I possibly can. So I don't plan on getting rid of too many of these uh, pack sets here. So <clears throat> either way, um, we're going to get started. We have uh, <laughs> the one pack that still has gum in it. And no, I will not be trying the 1990 gum. But uh, we'll go ahead and start with 1990. So 30 year old wax. 30 year old wax packs. All right. Well, our gum is stuck to JT Smith, so I can pretty much consider this card a bust. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna flip these real quick. We have Robert Massey, Mike Wilcher. Ooh, we have a Warren Moon. How is the centering on these? Usually each pack will have a similar amount of centering. It looks pretty good. Maybe 40, 60, 40, 60. But either way, we got a Hall of Famer there. That's cool. Tony Eason, Tom Rathman, Mark Carrier. Our 1,000 yard club is Eric Martin. Get one of those per pack in 1990. Couple 100 yard games there, five in 1989. This is one reason why I love the 1,000 yard clubs. You can look and see each individual game breakdown from the year before, which is pretty cool. We got a team card of the Rams with Jim Everett, Wes Hopkins, Tony. Who was that? I don't remember. Either way, Eagles team card there, Perry Williams, Billy Joe Tolliver, Mike Quick. We got a Phil Sims. And Otis Anderson. Yep. And a Harry Hamilton. So nothing crazy special there. We got a we got a nice Warren Moon. And we got a 1,000 yard club. All right, so we'll move on to 1991. Man, this is this is awesome. This is just so nostalgic. 91 was one of the first packs that I ever bought when I was a kid. I ended up getting a whole bunch of 88s in a fair at a school when I was a kid. And then um and then when I when I eventually went to go buy some, I would do basketball and football, and 91 was one of the first sets that I had bought. Chris Spielman, he had plenty of Pro Bowls in his day. Sterling Sharp, that's cool. Hall of Fame debate right there, whether he should be in. Daniel Stubbs. Al Edwards. Jeff George, this is the second year. 
He was number one pick in the draft, I believe, in 1990. Kirk Loudermilk. Our 1,000-yard club is Gary Clark. Catching them passes from Mark Rippin. One, two, three, four, four 100-yard games. One of them 162 against the Cardinals. Not surprising. Cardinals in 1990 and most years were pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> um, cool. Oh, oh, that's a keeper. All right, we got a Jesse Hester. Al Smith. Herman Moore rookie. All right. 91 was definitely not known for their uh, rookies. There was no Favre in, in base tops. And, um, but Herman Moore was really good. So that's kind of cool. We got the All-Pro card, which actually is the that player's main card. So obviously, as you can see, there's the base design. But there are several players who, who did not get a base design. If they were All-Pros, they didn't get a base design. Instead, they got the All-Pros. So this is, even though it looks like a subset, that is Daryl Green base card. So Hall of Famer there, that's a keeper. Mike Fox. Ricky Prohl, rookie. He had a couple good years. He was a fan favorite. Melvin Bratton. And Jackie Slater, Hall of Famer. Looks like the centering is about... Eh, I want to say 60-40 or 70-30. I don't know. But keeper, David Grayson. All right, so here's our, our junk stack so far. And our keepers. All right, 92 Series 1. So from what I understand, Topps had some licensing issues with cards, just like ProSet did. And there weren't a lot of stars in Series 1 and Series 2, which is why so many stars and so many Hall of Famers are in the High Series. So... All right, so I'm going to flip this here. All right, we have Jeff Logman, Mark Clayton, one of the Marks brothers. I think I'm going to keep that. Not a Hall of Famer, but I was a fan of Mark Clayton and Mark Duper for receiving for uh, Marino. Ken Harvey, our gold card, is Eric Howard. He was, a, I believe, a tackle? Nose tackle, yeah. He, uh, he was a pretty good player. But, I mean, he, he was playing with a beast of a, of, a, of a team. He had Pepper Johnson and Lawrence Taylor. Very cool. Gold. All right, we got Neil Anderson. He had a couple good years. Ricky Sanders. He had a couple 1,000-yard seasons. Mike Munchak. He is Hall of Fame. One of the greatest to do it. That looks really nice on centering. John Hand. Steve Jordan. This is the father of the New Orleans Saints Cameron Jordan. I met him. Uh, I used to work at a restaurant. And I, say, uh, I waited on him. Waited tables. Really nice guy. It was right before his son got drafted. He was a good tight end, too. Carwell Gardner. Ooh, we got a Barry Sanders. That's nice. Centering looks a little off. Hmm. 40-60 or 30-70, but still very cool. Matt Barr. Chris Jackie. George Jameson. And Irving Fryer. Should be in the Hall of Fame. Very, very similar numbers to a receiver like Andre Reed. Unfortunately, he was with the Patriots for a very long time, and the Patriots were not good. So, all right, so we got Series 2. And uh, as usual, as I do with most of the videos here, I'm going to do a giveaway at the end. So stick around. All right, so we got Kevin Murphy, 
We got a checklist. Winston Moss. John Kidd, James Hasty. Man, I love 92s. 92s design so good. Photography is so good. The uh, the bordering, it's not obnoxious. It's very simple. Shows the stadium on the back. Has full stats. Even if a player has like 15 years, it'll list everything. Nice little summaries on the back. The only thing is it, it doesn't say, and a lot of cards do this, it doesn't say what pick they were. He wasn't number four in the draft. He was the fourth round. So it would have been nice for them to put that on there too. But Gil Bird, Dwight Stone, Steve Tasker, good special teams player. Kenneth Davis, gold. Matt Brock, Jesse Solomon. David Brandon, Gary Clark, and Jim Jensen. So not really a whole lot there on Series 2. <clears throat> now High Series also has, uh, I mean it just has tons of Hall of Famers, um, which is good. It increases the chance you're going to get a gold of a Hall of Famer. Uh, but it, it's also Brett Favre's first Packers Uni card, so that's kind of cool. All right, and his first tops card because, um, or I should say regular tops because he had a top stadium club in 91. All right, Todd Collins, Courtney Hawkins, Ty Detmer, Shane Collins, Tim Rosenbaugh, Steve Diossi, JJ Burden, Webster Slaughter, Corey Miller, hey. Not a Hall of Famer, but a very cool quarterback, commentator, Boomer Esiason. Boomer Gold. That's cool. Clayton Holmes. Sean Lumpkin. Darren Woodson, rookie. He should be Hall of Fame. I do have one of these graded. I can't remember whether it's an 8 or a 9. Um, I, I would like to get an, uh, a 9 at some point. 9 or a 10, but 9's fine. But Darren Woodson rookie is great. And Kevin Smith rookie in the same pack, back to back. Very, very cool. Kevin Smith had a good year, very good career as well. Not as good as Darren Woodson, but they played together for a very long time in the league, and they both did very well. And then Troy Ozen, Ozine, something. All right, so I got a, a nice little stack of keepers so far. How long is this video? Is it like 13, 13 minutes? Sorry, I'm trying to get through it quick, but this is also nostalgia too, so hopefully you're enjoying yourself. If not, this ain't the video for you. <laughs> All right, so we're moving along to 1993. We got a Series 1. Also, these were also uh, one tops gold per pack. This is pretty tough to get open here. Jeez. But this is when they started to move um, a little more on the gloss. A little bit more on the gloss. All right, we got a subset. Chris Warren, team leader. League leaders, Henry Jones and Audrey McMillan. Interception leaders. All right, Paul Gruber. There's a lot of subsets in these. So franchise player subset, future star, um... I don't think that was a subset. No, that was just a, it's just a label. But Bob Whitfield, Art Monk record breaker. This is probably about him breaking Steve Largent's record. Yep. Steve Largent had receptions record. And uh, Art Monk broke it. And then Jerry Rice broke that. <laughs> Um, Art Monk, Derek Thomas, team leader. Now, I don't do subsets, otherwise I'd be keeping some of these. All right, Ray Childress, Kyle Clifton. Our top gold is Don Griffin. We got Henry Thomas, Andrew, Andy Harmon, Nate Adones, 
Pepper Johnson. Very cool. David Lang and Charles Haley. So we got a we got a Hall of Famer in there. Besides subsets. It's not bad. Let's try the jumbo. Now on the jumbo, two at Tops Gold. So a box of jumbos will net you 48 golds, because there's 24 packs in a box. Whereas the wax will, will net you 36 because there's one a pack and 36 packs in the box. All right, Robert Blackman, Rob Burnett, Todd Morenovich. When I was a kid, I was pretty hype on him, and he turned out to be a big bust. Andre Tippett, there's a Hall of Famer. Very nice. All right, so our golds. We got a Greg Townsend. One of my guys of choice to play on Tecmo Super Bowl as a kid. And a Chris Miller. Quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. Chris Miller was doing really well, so they got rid of Favre. Can you imagine what would have happened if they would have kept him? All right, David Little. We got Pepper Johnson Field General subset. Coleman Rudolph, rookie. Marvin Washington. Andre Collins. Bubba McDowell. Nada Domes. Pepper Johnson. David Lang, Charles Haley. Wow, that was weird. Jumbo and Wax had a bunch of these guys in the same order. Hey, I know who that is already just by looking at it. That's a Brett Favre. So, we got Haley, we got Favre. That's pretty bad centering. <laughs> that's uh, that's an 80-20 right there. Ugh. And Jim Arnold. All right, let's go Series 2. Series 2. So there are some rookies in here, too, but there are also some rookies that were um, they were in Series 1 in, like, practice uniforms. So And then those players are also in Series 2 with, um, with in-game photos. So they're not official rookies, but they are rookie year cards. We got Phil Hansen, Dennis Smith... Sean Gale, Ernest Givens, part of the uh, run and gun offense with Warren Moon. Very cool. Joel Steed, Tony Smith, Tim McDonald. He was a very good uh, defensive back. OJ McDuffie, rookie. Or rookie year, I don't know. Our gold is Michael Zordich. I believe he also played for the Bears. I don't know. No, I was thinking Chris Zor Zorch. Either way, there's our gold. Mo, Mo Gardner, Eric Bieniemy, Patrick Hunter, Paul Gruber, Randall Cunningham. Not a Hall of Famer, but I will keep. One of my favorite receivers growing up. And a Steve Christie. All right, so that's, uh, that's 93 out of the way. We got some cool stuff there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the golds yet. All right, so 94. Now here's where we started getting in some really cool inserts. So the special effects, instead of one a pack being the tops gold from 93 and 92, um, the special effects, which is what you see back there on the Thurman Thomas, those are one in every two packs. And then there was also Top's Finest, and this is the beginning of, or, or part of the beginning of... Uh, of, of Top's Finest. So this is, I don't know if I'm going to pull one, but it would definitely be pretty cool if I did. Hey, Willie McGinnis, rookie. That's a good start. Not a Hall of Famer, but very good player. Johnny Morton, rookie. He had a couple good years on the other side of Herman Moore in Detroit. I'm going to keep the Willie McGinnis. Hey, we got a special effects, and it's a rookie. All right, Mark Spindler. There's our special effects. Greg Hill. Very nice. We got David Scott. Kurt Guvilla. Mark Carrier, Mark Logan, Tyrone Hughes, Gary Anderson, one of the greatest kickers ever, 
Kelvin Martin and Simon Fletcher. He had a couple good years too. All right, so that wasn't bad. Series two, this also tops finest, one in 36, and special effects one and two. Oh, these are a little stuck together, but not, not too much. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, we got Kevin Scott, Ricky Sanders. We have a subset, Measures of Greatness, Emmett Smith, Hall of Fame. Won't keep it, though, because it's a subset, but very cool. We have William Thomas. We have some residual sticky, which is not good. You can see the... The white there, and you can see it's much more prominent on this Jim Everett. That I can't say I'm excited about. We got a Bucky Brooks rookie. Dwayne Harper. Michael Haynes. Michael Barrow. Carlos Jenkins and Dave... Halligan alongside Roger Harper here. All right. So that was our 94. Now let's also hope 95 is not stuck together. Feels nice. 95, they kind of stepped up the game a little bit here. Let's see what we got. Power Booster, 1 in 36. Hit List, 1 in 4. Finest, 1 in 36. Yesteryear, 1 in 72. And Finest Refractor, 1 in 36. Now, those were hobby exclusive. So, hopefully, we can hit a Finest Refractor. This pack is, uh, this foil pack is not, not open and nice, that's for sure. All right, they are not stuck together. That's a good sign. All right, Rob Moore, 1,000 Yard Club. This was a subset, not an insert. Oh, those are a little stuck. We got Tyrone Stone, Matt Darby, and Merton Hanks. Merton Hanks had a good, he had a pretty good career. We got Benny Blades, he had a good career. Thurman Thomas subset, 1,000 yard club. You know what, I am going to keep the 1,000 yard club subsets actually. Normally I don't do subsets, but if you guys watch my other videos, you know I'm a fan of 1,000 yard clubs. So I'm gonna do subsets in that one only. Irving Fryer, when he went to the Dolphins, caught some passes from Reno for a while. Donald Evans. We got a Michael Westbrook. I believe this is a rookie. Yeah, Michael Westbrook rookie. He had a couple good years. We have Matt Darby, George Teague, and Mike Shepard. Oh, wait, one more. Luther Ellis rookie. All right. Last final pack here. 95. We got Series 2. Also Hobby. See if we can get a get a Hall of Fame base and a cool insert. Oh, these are a little stuck. Uh oh. All right, so we got a subset: Steve Young, Super Bowl MVP. From a '94 season, '95 Super Bowl, I believe. Al Smith. We got a Steve Young base. That's cool. So hopefully it uh, doesn't peel. Hey, that's a good looking base right there. Keeper, Mark Brunel. This is his third year. Brian DeMarco, rookie. To peel these out here. They are a little stuck together. All right, Jesse James. Different one from the current day Pittsburgh Steelers one, obviously. Darren Perry. Or recent. I don't know where Jesse James is now. Uh, Bernie Parmalee. Eric Rett. 
I believe that was a second year. He had a, he had a couple good years, but I yeah, he over a thousand yards in his rookie season. All right, we got Carlton Bailey. First year of Panthers and Jaguars, so they did the the specials for the uh, for the expansion draft. Carl Banks. It's weird seeing him in a Cleveland uniform after all those years with New York. One of the greatest to do it right alongside Pepper Johnson and LTE and all right, and then Yancey Thigpen. So, all right, hopefully this is not too long of a video, but um, let's see. All right, all of these <laughs> alongside anything that I already have a PSA 9 or above on from any of this stuff right here. Um, I will put in this stack and give away. Um, I also, uh, basically I'll give it away to the person. I will pick another person at random, put in the comments, what is your favorite design from 1990 to 1995 in this pack series that I'm doing? So, um, I also, I, at some point I will do some retro packs, some other non- regular tops packs. Um, like I have a stack going right here. I got pro set action pack could get an Emmett rookie. Uh, 93 could get a Bettis rookie or that's a Bettis rookie potential. Um, I got some 95 top stadium club series one and two. Those had some really cool design inserts. Um, I got a bunch of pro set. I, I will do some like some classic retro packs of other stuff, but uh, definitely wanted to do a classic tops and um, I think it was worth it. Very cool. We got cool 93s, some golds, got 95s here, some 94s, some more, uh, some 92s. We got the boomer gold. That was kind of cool. 91. And the 1990. So this was uh, this was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you'll probably enjoy the rest of the stuff that I post on Instagram, which you can check out right there. Ding. And um, you know, I, I try to do my best to like support other people in the community as well. So I'm gonna give you some non super popular YouTubers that I follow. Um, I'm gonna put one right here, one right here. And um, I suggest going go and checking them out. They're both young, and uh, but they have a lot of fun opening, and that's what the hobby's all about. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is one of many coming up. And um, have a great day. Stay safe, and stay uh, stay happy mentally, and 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 doing well physically as well. So thanks, guys.